So I've actually got this really funny story today, and here's kind of how it goes. So I was looking for a microphone slash headset piece that I used to own, and I came across this little number. Oh, ho, ho. You know, just earphones and this thingamabob. So I decided to try it out, and I plugged it into the microphone jack and saw whether this was actually a microphone or whether it was just something random, and tried recording, and it's recorded. But it was really weak, like it was a really weak recording, and I was speaking right into this thing like this. And so I saw this button on it, and I thought, well, maybe the microphone, you can change the pitch if you hold it or something, and I was trying that, and it didn't work. And then I, I had this brainwave, and I tried just speaking into the earphones, and it worked. What's really cool is that this is really good sound quality coming through these earphones. So what do you think would happen if I started recording with these? These are just my studio headphones, and I tried it, and it worked superbly. There's absolutely no feedback whatsoever. It's great. Now, I don't know whether this might wreck the earphones in the long run, so I'm not going to advise it any to anyone. If you have earphones that you want to keep, don't do this. But if you're looking for a microphone, maybe this is a solution that you can use. But this brought forward the question, why did this work? And if you've taken some sort of high school level of physics, then you probably can hazard a guess. So what a microphone does is it realizes the frequencies vibrating through the air and then converts that to an electrical signal. The electrical signal goes around this coiled wire, which is an, produces an electromagnet, and will produce a magnetic field. Now, this magnetic field, I don't know if this is the actual method in the earphones, but just uh, this is how it was originally done with you know cassette tapes, is a film of iron 3 oxide. So what the magnetic field would do is it would attract this molecule, and you'd get this reading this physical reading of a sound wave, and then a speaker would then run that through, convert this iron 3 oxide reading into a magnetic field, which would induce an electrical current, which is the exact same electrical current that went into producing that magnetic field and the iron filing reading. And so then this electric current will then go out through the speakers, and I'm not going to explain the anatomy of a speaker right now, but it'll then produce a sound wave, and depending on the quality of speaker, you'll get a sound wave that is very similar to the sound wave that created the electrical signal. So yeah, uh, now my videos are going to be in a much better recording quality, and I suppose that you can just use this knowledge as you will, and the only downside of this scenario really is the fact that I have to record it like this. So as pretty as my face is, you're not going to be seeing it in any new videos because this is how I'm going to be recording the audio, so that it's a much more professional production. So yeah, that's just my little bit of news for today. So, you know, uh, look forward to the video in the future, and peace.